Hello everyone, thanks for watching this uh, video analysis. Today I will talk about the US dollar versus the Japanese yen, about a major symmetrical triangle. Maybe I will show you my strategy, my trading strategy, yeah, my thought process, yeah, the rationale behind the potential trade or something. But uh, first of all, as always, please read the disclaimer. You can email support if you have questions, yeah, questions about subscription services, brokerage companies. And uh, don't forget, guys, to access the link posted right below this video to join our VIP Telegram group. Of course, if you are not a VIP member already, okay? And for uh, 35 pounds per month, you can become a VIP member to get all our trades, trade management, VIP content, webinars, tutorials, videos, yeah, data, economic news. So, uh, yeah, also uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like this video. It will be highly appreciated. It will help me to the YouTube algorithm. So uh, let's take a look here. Something like a symmetrical triangle. Maybe it's not a perfect one, but yeah, personally I'm using the downtrend line, the uptrend line as uh, support, as resistance. Right now it challenges or actually uh, it has jumped above the, the immediate downtrend line, the triangle's resistance, but it has failed to, to stay above it. Let's take a look uh, first of all on the dollar index and on the yen basket. So something like this, um, the dollar index escaped from this from this channel. Yeah, I've talked about this channel yesterday. Yeah, and right now it's tried to, it tries to stabilize above the medium line of the major descending pitchfork, staying above it as we test signal potential. Uh, I don't know potential uh, rebound for the for the uh, rebound here growth in the short term. Also, uh, as long as it stays above the immediate uptrend line, it could uh, continue to to grow in the short term, maybe uh, helping the U.S. dollar to appreciate versus its rivals. Okay, so first of all. If the DXY will um, jump uh, higher towards new highs, maybe the US dollar could um, appreciate, okay? And the yen basket, let's take a look. Because, um, yeah, yesterday, guys, the yen basket tested, retested this outside sliding parallel line. Also, the weekly pivot point also falls breakout above it, yeah? And then sell off. So this sell off here forced the yen to depreciate. Okay, so when this index drops, the Japanese yen could depreciate versus its rivals. But personally, I will delete maybe this one from here. Yeah, also uh, this one. And I will keep only this down channel, guys. Okay, so uh, right now, this index is in a support zone. Okay, because here we have the channel's downside line. And also we have the, the S1. And in my opinion, test, retest, false breakdowns, rejection or something could signal potential new rally here and the potential rally here on the on the japanese yen basket could uh, signal that the yen could appreciate could take the lead versus its rival so that's why you have to be careful on the other versus the japanese yen okay and the only something like this if the price will really take this out if it will maybe drop and close and stabilize below the channel's downside line below the s1 then it will uh, most likely resume its uh, sell-off downside movement and then the yen will continue to depreciate versus its rivals okay so let's go back and let's talk about the us dollar versus the japanese yen so us dollar japanese yen so something like this here yeah um after this important important uh, upside movement, yeah, maybe uh, only a false breakout is natural. Yeah, it was expected. Okay, but um, also don't forget that um, something like this staying near the downtrend line could signal an imminent upside breakout and the potential growth maybe at least towards uh, 115.68 okay so uh, right now we don't have a great opportunity personally i don't want to okay uh, first of all i don't want to buy it here at resistance okay because it has reached this downtrend line but also i don't want to to sell it here only because the price reached this uh, this level because i'm not doing something like this because um maybe the the conditions could change okay or maybe uh, the price could take out this resistance and it could resume its upside movement but after something like this maybe a temporary retreat is natural is normal if the um, the yen basket will will rebound okay so personally maybe i'm, I'm waiting for something like this for a new drop maybe before um, um taking out the downtrend line or maybe i'll wait for something like this here breakout also something like this yeah a new higher high here could really signal a strong upwards movement so i'm looking for uh, for long opportunities here in other versus the japanese yen but i'm still looking i'm still waiting for a fresh 
trading opportunity a great um, and high probability trade because i don't want to i don't want to trade it right now here at resistance so i'm waiting for something like this for the price to come back to test retest the weekly pivot point maybe the uptrend line to to register only false breakouts yeah to print a strong bullish pattern or something like this or if the price will jump and um Test retest the downtrend line, or if it will maybe make uh, a new higher high here, consolidation accumulation could bring us new long opportunities. So this is my my opinion here in US dollar versus the Japanese yen. So I won't sell this uh, this market. I won't sell this uh, this pair even if we are at resistance. I'll wait maybe for temporary retreats. I'm waiting for a very breakout before maybe I'll consider I will uh, I'll want to go long. Okay, thank you guys for watching this um, this video, and don't forget that uh, yeah I will come back with my trade in US dollar versus the Japanese yen uh, for the VIP members only. Thank you guys.